Hi guys, uh, welcome to a quick video tutorial on how to play Blu-ray discs on your PC. Um, if like me, you've probably bought a Blu-ray disc drive for your computer, foolishly thinking that you'll you'll just be able to play the Blu-rays, uh, you'll probably have found that this is not the case. It's not that simple. Uh, I found a few methods on Google, none of which have really been effective for me. Uh, one you might have seen is the the paid-for software things such as a Cyberlink Power DVD. Uh, who really wants to pay for some software to play a Blu-ray that they've paid for on a Blu-ray drive that they've paid for? Uh, not me. Uh, another one which actually works is just a little time consuming. It's downloading Make MKV and this will allow you to rip the Blu-ray to your computer but personally that's too time consuming. All I want to do is put the Blu-ray in and watch it. Uh, we will be using Make MKV, but not for that reason. Uh, so yeah, so you want to head over to MakeMKV.com. I'll post a link to that in the description. Click download your copy now, and you want to download for Windows. Uh, I don't have access to a Mac, so I haven't been able to test that. Uh, you could probably post that in the comments if that's worked for you. Oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll be downloading for Windows. So you'll want to save that file to your computer um, and then install it. I already have that done, and I don't really know, don't really need to show you how to do that anyway. So yeah, once you have that done, you want to get a VLC. Head over to videoland.org, and again, I'll post a link to that in the description. Uh, for 32-bit users and just everyday users people who don't know what that means, you just want to hit VLC. This will work for nearly all versions of Windows. You'll see win32.exe. Uh, there is a 64-bit version. Should you wish to use that, you'll want to click other systems, Windows, and then down here you'll see download VLC for Windows X64. Uh, this is the version I'm using. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's experimental but I've never had any issues with that. Yep, so once that's installed, the next thing you want to do is run make MKV. So yeah, you'll be greeted with this screen, and if you open your drive, the animation plays accordingly. Just let that read the disk. So yeah, once that's loaded, you you click just click that big icon. You can't miss it. Let it access the disk. Uh, you see the name of the Blu-ray there. But anyway, you want to click File and Stream. If you want to do it quickly, you can see that icon there. You can just click that. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, what this does is it strips away the encryption of the disk, which is what's, what I think stops you just viewing the Blu-ray natively on VLC or Windows Media Player. I could be wrong. But anyway, once that's done, you'll be able to see this link here. And what I think this does is plays it locally on your system. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Anyway, you just want to right click that link and copy link location. You want to head over to your browser, for me it's Firefox as you can see, and paste that link in and you'll be greeted with a screen identical to this one. There should be just one link and you want to click that. It's usually webstruck titles. <coughs> I know, uh, you want to find the main movie, and in my experience, it's always been Webstroke Title Zero. And if you see the duration, it's nearly two hours, so that's obviously going to be it. Uh, you, you can, once you've found out how to do this, backtrack and click on the other ones, and you might be able to find some of the special features. But anyway, for now, we're just going to click Title Zero, 
and get the M2TS file. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between the M2 and the, just the TS. I haven't experimented with that, but for me, this one's always just worked. So I'm just going to use that. Yep, so you right click, copy link location. Now you'll want to open VLC. And once that's open, you'll want to click media and open network stream or control N. And you'll want to paste the link we just copied into that bar. And it's as simple as clicking play. Um, during the first 10 seconds or so, you'll see some glitching. But once that's gone, the, m the rest of the movie plays fine. Uh, you can navigate, you can full screen, you can do everything. But all you have is the main movie file. Uh, yep, when you're done, I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I find it just good practice to to cancel that and stop reading from the disk. And then from there you can just eject it. Uh, so yeah, that about rounds that video up. I uh, hope it was helpful. I might do a, a more polished version in the future, maybe with a script or something. Uh, I think that was my first video tutorial, using my voice no less. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit of a procedure, but um, once you've got it down, it really doesn't take any more time than actually playing a Blu-ray on a, a natural Blu-ray player on your TV. Um, one thing to note is that Make MKV is like a shareware. Uh, I think that's what it is. Um, but you can uninstall it and re-download the latest version and keep on using it that way. Uh, that's I've done that for quite a while and I haven't had any issues with it. So yeah, uh, let me know if this works for you in the comments. If it doesn't work, um, again, if it worked on Mac, that would be quite helpful. So yeah, see ya.